Alright, so I'm see here inside my add column tab and I want to show some examples of generating new columns or deriving new columns from columns that have number and date data types. And there are really a lot of options there, but you will rarely use majority of them. So I will just be showing the one that I know that you are likely to use at least at one point or the other. So let's say that I select uh, a numbers column like a sales column, for example. And remember that I'm inside the add column tab, which means any of these buttons that I click inside the from number group is going to generate a new column for me. Now let's assume that the mathematics that you did in school is not yet enough for you and you want to do some extra things like trigonometry, you want to do sine, cosine, tangent and so on and so forth. You are free to do that here but really you might never do anything like this but you may find yourself in the need to either multiply or add or divide between two different number columns. So the way I have my sales column here and I have my quantity column here, for example, I may want to create a column that is like price per unit. So that means I'm going to have to select my sales column. Then I can hold control on my quantity column and then I can go to the standard button drop down where I have several options here. And for me to generate something like price per unit, which is supposed to be sales divided by quantity, I will go with the divide option. It's going to create a new column for me called division. And really, because this column is meant to be price per quantity or something like that, of course, instead of renaming this column and generating a new applied step, I can find in the formula bar where the name of division was actually coined and I can just go in there to create or to impute the right name, which is price per unit. So one thing you probably would have noticed is that every time you have created new columns like this, Power BI, I mean Power Query rather, is going to default a name for the column you are creating so you are most likely going to have to rename it so you can see that the other ones I created earlier were called text after delimiter you have another one here called uppercase so you are most likely going to have to rename your column now let's look at another interesting example for date columns so I have um, two different date columns here I have other date column for example and if I go to my group of from date and time if I click on the drop down here, we are always likely to create age. Sometimes we are likely to calculate ages from date column. So if I come to this date column now, I can simply select age here. It's going to create a new column for me. However, this ages is going to come as another type of data that is of duration data type. So which means it is simply counting for me the number of days, dot, number of hours, colon, number of minutes and number of seconds because really age is based on duration. Age is not necessarily based on total number of years like we are mostly used to because even a child that is giving birth to a couple of minutes ago has an age. The child is just probably a couple of minutes old. So when you create age columns like this, you are most likely going to need to still right click on the age column you have just created. Then you will go to transform and ask it to show by any of these aggregates. I'm going to select total years for this one. And then I can also right click on what I have to go to transform yet again and decide to round it down. Another interesting thing that we are likely to create from date columns is going to be variant of dates. So for example, I can select this ship date column this time and if I go to my date drop down here, I can maybe extract out only the year part or use the start of year or end of year. I can go to the month part and this one is more interesting because I will be able to select the name of month, which is going to write out the names of the months for me in text forms like this. I'm going to have January all the way to December. I can also generate the same thing for days as well. So if I come here to select the ship date, 
I can go to the date drop down, go to day and select name of day. 